Hey guys, until now we have successfully set up Flutter. We have seen how Flutter project structure look like. We have also covered how to write basic Dart program in previous videos. We are now ready to create our first Flutter app from scratch. Before jumping into app creation, it's recommended to know about Flutter project structure and basic programming of Dart. Please find the links of the videos from description box below. Watch those videos if you haven't watched yet. Let's now look into app creation on my screen. Navigate to leave folder and main.dart file and stepping into the code. In the beginning, Flutter look for the main function to start execution. It looks for the main function in main.dart file, which is now entry point of the code for our app. We have created main function. This function proves that this line is the starting point of execution for our app. To show something on the screen, we need to provide something inside the main function and that something is called widget. To do that, we use a function called run app inside the main function. The run app essentially takes the given widgets and make it root of the widget tree. So for now, we will add run app. Inside that, we will add text. Hello world from tech talks. Let's now try to run this application on simulator. Click on play. Since this is running first time, it might take some time to execute. We have encountered with two errors. One error text method not found and run app method not found. We need to import these methods from the library and the package we are going to use is material.dart. Now let's run it. Since this is first execution, it might take some time. Let's wait for it. Now our application has run successfully and built it and installed on simulator iPhone 11. Here you can see it says no directionality widget found. So we must provide directionality widget to our root widget. Let's provide direction and run it again. You can see it has synced file with the device and restarted application in almost one second and it has displayed hello world from tech talks but text is not on the center of the screen let's add another widget which is called center which takes text as a child run your app again hello world should come in center so you can see on my screen hello world from tech talks is now on center so we have created an app from scratch and saw how to use different widgets to create UI for our app. You might have noticed that we have used word widget a lot of times. Let's now go deeper into it and understand what exactly a widget is. To put it simply, a widget is a building block of a user interface component in the Flutter app. According to Google, Flutter widgets are built using modern framework that takes inspiration from React. The central idea is that you build your UI out of widgets. Using widgets, one can create their own beautiful UI effortlessly. Whatever a user views on the screen of a Flutter app, basically it's a widget. Let's understand this by an example. For example, you have an app built using Flutter. All the things on the app you see is a widget. Starting from app bar, navigation bar, buttons, text, images, and list of things all of these are widgets in flutter a bar which contains tech talks with ak and other icons is a widget. inside that text icons are also a widget. you can see a list on my screen a list of videos or list of youtube videos this complete list is a widget. individual items of the list are also widgets. since these widgets are inside another widget that's why we call them child widget or children widget as collectively in fact, entire page that you see here is a widget. We called it scaffold. That places the scaffold widget onto root of the widget tree. In subsequent videos, we will understand more about scaffold and other widgets in deep. Let's make it visually more understandable by looking how typical widget tree looks widget. like. If you see a widget tree, it has a container which is root of the widget. Then it has a row. Then there are columns inside a row. Everything you see here is a widget. 
then column has icon and container container again has a text widget so it is repeating here let's understand different widget on the screen of youtube videos screen page here you can see this entire screen or entire page is a widget called scaffold every other widget will be inside scaffold widget and scaffold widget is the root of widget tree this scaffold widget inside will have multiple widgets one of them is app bar you can see the highlighted area in the yellow box is app bar if we proceed further this app bar has a row which is one row that row have multiple widgets first widget of the row is icon which is back button the next widget in this row is a container container inside it contains text widget next widget in this app bar row is icon which is cast icon next one is search icon and so on rest of the area of the screen belongs to another widget which is container all the other ui component you can see on the screen are different widget in the form of sub widget tree let's now go back to code and build a app bar like this we have understood how to create app from scratch and we have looked into different widgets using an example of youtube videos of my channel let's now create app bar similar to what we have seen on the last screen so create void main call run app from material dot art inside run app function we will use material app widget which we will discuss in subsequent videos in detail if you find anything unusual or ununderstandable in this code please write it below in the comments so that i can cover it up in the next videos so in material app i'll write title which is tech talks then i will add home which is safe area inside safe area i will add one child called my scaffold so my scaffold is a class which we are going to create in few seconds when we switch app on our phone this title will be used by task switcher let's now create class my scaffold since this class has to be a widget so we will extend this to stateless widget don't worry if you don't know what is stateless widget in subsequent videos we will cover stateless widget implement the method from stateless widget which is build context inside build function of my scaffold widget return material which has one child column inside column we have multiple children that's why we are taking array of widgets in multiple children first child will be my app bar which we are going to create soon next child will be expanded in the second child expanded we have child center inside center we have one child text so we will display some text on center of the screen we have added two children inside column first is my app bar second is expanded let's now create my app bar class class my app bar which again extends to date less widget and we are going to implement build function from state less widget so here we will return container inside container we are defining some of the properties of container height 56 pixels next is padding we will define padding padding is symmetric horizontal to 8 pixel to every side next is decoration box decoration with the color value of color blue 800 now we will add one child which is row inside row we will have multiple children which are widgets so array of widget in array of widget as a children of row we will have icon button for icon we are going to add icon from icons dot arrow back tooltip for this icon is back disabled color of this icon is white 
Let's run this app to see how UI until now looks like. Since this is running first time from this code, so it might take some time. Please be patient. This is taking more time. I'll fast forward this so that we can save time of the video. Xcode build is done and app has white screen now and it is loading our UI on the app. You can see on my screen that we have created app bar which is blue with the height 56 and inside that app bar we have one child called icon button which is back and which is visible on the screen. Let's add expanded with the child title. Let's create a variable title inside my app bar. So that we can use it here. To use this title, we have to create a constructor my app bar, which will take this dot title as a parameter. Since we have created title as a widget in my app bar and we are accepting it as a constructor parameter, let's now pass this title from my app bar invocation part. So we have to pass title, which will be text. So in text, we will pass tag talks with AK with some style, which is this. As you can see on my screen, when I hit save, it automatically reverses my UI on the app. Let's now copy paste this icon button to the right side of our text so that we can create multiple icons here. We have pasted three icons and all the three icons are visible here now. Let's now change icon of these image buttons or icon buttons. Second button is cast. We have to display cast. So it's cast. Second button is search. We have to display search and we have to display more word. When I hit save now, it automatically refreshes my UI and you can see on my screen, this app bar exactly look like what we were using in our example. So it has title, back button, cast button, search button and more button. Let's now compare this app bar with the app bar in the example. If you compare this app bar and the app bar we used in the example, they look pretty similar. There is one back button, one back button, then title with tech talks with AK, tech talks with AK, then cast button, then search button and more button. So we have seen how to use widgets to create beautiful UI for the app. In example, we have created app bar exactly look like this. That's pretty much guys I wanted to discuss in this video. We have covered many things today. If you have any question, any feedback for me or any suggestions to improve my videos, please write down in the comment box. Please find relevant links from the description box to understand more about widgets in details. If you find this video useful, please hit thumbs up, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to get notified about more interesting technical videos from Tech Talks. Thank you. Thank you.